Hi, Micro Punter here. And as you can see, I'm spending a few nice hours uh, at a lake. And of course, I cannot leave this place uh, without uh, taking a small water sample along. I did find on the shoreline a few uh, algae and I'm gonna try to um, put them under the microscope. Maybe there's some interesting stuff on in there. I don't know yet, we'll see. It's kind of windy here today, um, so a little bit too cold uh, to have a swim. Well, the most difficult part was actually to find a place for the camera. Um, but here where there are some concrete steps, uh, this was a very ideal place. And as you can see, no, I'm not collecting only a water sample, but of course you want to collect some solid material. Um, in this case, some algae and some other of this, some other this gooey stuff uh, that I found there, because this is where all of the microorganisms are growing on. Um, microorganisms frequently form a so-called biofilm. And uh, the, in this biofilm, there are usually a lot of algae, bacteria, and of course, all, all the other sessile microorganisms. And in a little time lapse before I go home. Back at home, um, pretty self-explanatory. Um, I took out uh, the algae. They're pretty long and uh, very inconvenient, actually. Um, so I had some problems actually uh, separating it and putting it uh, and making it a little bit smaller. Um, so I placed a, a rather large sample on the slide. Um, I carefully separated it, uh, but then I had to remove quite a bit uh, because uh, otherwise it's going to be too thick and then the microorganisms are going to float up and down and uh, swim around and it's going to be very difficult to focus. Uh, so sometimes less is more because uh, we can then have a much easier time actually to see the microorganisms. Carefully separate the things because I do not want to destroy too much of the specimen. Cover glass goes on top. Everything, of course, uh, must go under the microscope uh, and then at low magnification I see that it looks pretty messy. <laughs> I do see a lot of uh, these uh, algae, the black dark areas, these are some, I don't know, some other things that are not quite well visible. At a higher magnification I start to see the little egg-shaped dots and I have to admit I have no idea what they are. Um, I think way too large for bacteria, um, but the string-like long algae there, can, they can be seen quite well. Um, not so many um, organisms floating around. I mean, there is one now going in a circle, pretty much in the middle here. Uh, but uh, otherwise, I expected a little bit more movement here. Um, but um, actually, on first sight, um, it's yeah, a few uh, diatoms you can see. Um, and uh, again, algae, you can see the chloroplast inside the map. There was one actually swimming around here, some kind of a ciliate. Um, and here's another one. Um, also interesting to see on the very right hand side you can actually see how the algae now in the center how the algae is branched also quite interesting to actually see uh, where the different cells touch each other and uh, also the branching here and this guy's going in a circle you know it looks a little bit like a forest a very dense uh, very dense here i'm moving around trying to find some interesting things here of course everything is interesting in microscopy no question <laughs> but i was actually hoping for some um, other uh, more, a little bit more movement. This is a dark field um, Yeah, and you can see that the natures uh, of the image is quite different here um, But then later on I actually decided to switch back to bright field because the resolution and the clarity is a little bit higher um, And also the depth of field is a little bit uh, better with uh, in bright field But in any case uh, it also looks kind of nice here, but uh, not so much uh, um, to see relating to interesting microorganisms. I was kind of hoping to find maybe some, some paramecia, maybe some kind of worms, uh, but not so much here. Yes, I did find a so-called Vorticella. 
this is basically the one uh, that you see on the right and you see a stalk which extends very far to the left and you can see it retracts very quickly um, so I was actually waiting for quite a long time to do for it to do this again um, on the head uh, of this uh, bell shaped uh, organism there are a whole bunch of cilia they move very quickly so they're kind of difficult to see in, in the movement and here uh, you can also see that there is one retracting very quickly on the center on the center right okay but it's a little bit uh, inhibited uh, by all of the other algae that are around um, so it's not very able to move very freely in that sense um, but at least uh, that was, I was actually quite a little bit uh, happy to, to have found it so I was looking around and I did, I did find a few more of these actually um, and uh, here you can see there is one here as well it seems to be a little bit crooked here but you can see the cilia quite well uh, the ring of cilia which is uh, rapidly beating and uh, this way it's moving the water and all of the suspended particles a little bit bigger here um, and this is the way how it feeds itself unfortunately this one did not really retract uh, i waited quite for a bit of time but it didn't do that for whatever reason but at least uh, this one is one of the few um, examples where i could actually see the movement of the cilia quite well no idea what that is honestly um, i have to check my identification book but uh, one of the things that i kind of liked is, is uh, that uh, you can actually see all of the particles moving around so it it's actually moving the water around quite quickly. There seems to be some kind of an interesting halo around this organism. I, didn't, I don't know if these are the rapidly beating cilia. This one here, uh, rather for most likely, um, at least it looks similar to one. Um, and you can also see a little bit that it's moving the water around, uh, but not very well. Um, there is a, so a small particle on the lower right side that's kind of moving also in a circle, indicating that it's also um, moving the water around uh, for feeding purposes. Yeah, um, luckily um, I did not, uh, it did not, uh, not luckily, <laughs> unfortunately I did not find more of these. And well, here are some ciliates uh, caught in the network of algae. Uh, seems to be like a small, I don't know, family or a small colony. Uh, and a little bit of time lapse, simply to make everything a little bit more exciting. Okay, so that's it again. Uh, I wish you, as always, uh, all the best. Happy, happy micro-punting, as always. Uh, like and subscribe if you liked it, and uh, see you again next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>